Time now for an in-depth look at the market news this afternoon. And for that, I'm joined on the line by Dr. Yang jun Song, Professor of Economics at the Catholic University of Korea. Professor Young, good to have you back on. Happy to be here. Well, stocks in New York last Friday closed mixed. Uncertainty about U.S. stimulus, the prospect of a no-deal Brexit. What's the story in the global markets as we start a new week? Okay, well, the U.S. stock markets generally had a bad week. Uh, S&P and NASDAQ fell uh, for the uh, second part of the week. Uh, Dow, it fell during the week. It had a slight recovery on Friday, but overall for the week it was down. And the uh, reasons could be summarized as stimulus, government funding, unemployment figures, and worries about the double-dip recession. So stimulus negotiations in Congress, it's stuck over two uh, main issues, uh, whether there will be assistance to state and local governments, Democrats want it, Republicans do not, and whether there will be a uh, legal liability shield for employers when employees catch coronavirus uh, while working. Uh, Republicans want such a liability shield. Democrats do not. And while they say they're going to keep on negotiating, I'm not sure if uh, these two problems can be reconciled uh, before Christmas. Now, second issue, government funding. Uh, the uh, Basically, the U.S. government is running out of funding uh, because the uh, budget bill is uh, still being discussed. Uh, so they're passing one-week funding. The last one was passed on December 11th. The next one must pass on December 18th. So they keep, they'll just keep on going with uh, short-term funding, uh, funding bills. And then unemployment, it was higher than un uh, expected. The October figures show that there were 245,000 jobs created, which was way below what was expected. And the unemployment rate is 6.7 percent. This is worse than where it was during the global financial crisis. And all these uh, concerns are now uh, being summarized as uh, there's a possibility now that U.S. may undergo a double-dip recession. Uh, but on the other hand, not all bad news is particularly bad news. According to the uh, new U.S. newspapers this morning, the uh, futures seem to be up. Uh, Dow futures are up by about 100 points, uh, and S&P and NASDAQ futures are also slightly up. Europe, uh, it also had a pretty bad week. FTSE, CAC, and DAX, they were all substantially down last uh, last week. There was a meeting between Boris, uh, uh, United Kingdom Prime Minister Boris Johnson and the European Commission President Ursula von, von der Leyen over whether they should continue with the trade negotiations or just give up. And uh, they did decide to proceed with the negotiations, but there's no guarantee that it will be finished by the deadline, which was December 31st. Uh, there is a possibility that they'll paper over the differences and continue to negotiate while uh, uh, working under temporary agreement, but I'm not sure if either side is too ex uh, excited about that process, so that accounts for the uh, uh, lower uh, markets and then the Asian markets. Uh, Nikkei was up. Shanghai and Hang Seng was uh, Shanghai was up today. Hang Seng was uh, down today. So it's generally mixed. Uh, Japan did have a report higher business sentiments, but the Asian markets just seem to be looking at what's going to happen in the U.S. and Europe, and just basically waiting until the end of the year to see what's going to happen. Well, here in Korea, it was a fairly volatile session today. Uh, retail investors were big buyers, institutions and foreigners selling. Tell us about the local markets. Okay, well, Kospi, they, uh, it had a very interesting week last week. It was going up and down on uh, every other day, uh, but every up day ended up with record highs. Today, because perhaps Friday it was up, uh, today it was down slightly. It fell 0.28% compared to uh, the uh, end of Friday sessions. Um, now, uh, the interesting thing is the market was rising in the morning, but it fell after 1.30 p.m., and the uh, foreigners sold on the net for three st straight days. Uh, we're not quite sure exactly why, but it may be that Kospi, uh, they feel that Kospi has gone up too high, or it may be profit-taking, or it may be waiting to see what happens in the uh, Fed FOMC meeting that's due later this week, or whether because Korea is now 
undergoing much higher incidence of COVID virus. Uh, COSDAC, uh, it uh, rose uh, continuously uh, since uh, late November, except for December 8th. Uh, it rose today slightly, 0.12%. Uh, individuals and foreigners bought COSDAC stocks, institutions sold. Well, it's the start of a new week, Professor. We're almost out of time, but what's on your radar in the days ahead? Okay, well, Ministry of Economics and Finance is uh, supposed to announce 2021 economic plan sometime this week. Uh, there's a November employment figures and a Bank of Korea financial statement analysis for the third quarter, which will uh, look at uh, how well the Korean companies are doing. But the big news is obviously the uh, Fed uh, FOMC meeting in the United States on December 15th and 16th. Uh, we'll be looking at particularly what happens with their buy, uh, bond buying program and what do they, uh, what do they feel about their uh, lending program that they finance with the money from the Treasury, which the Trump administration announced that they will uh, discontinue at the end of the year. Got it. We'll catch up on all of that uh, later in the week. Thanks so much for coming on today. We appreciate it. Thank you.